Kowalski, Daryl Bartho, David Mocker, Matt Bowman, Clint Pretorius, and Wayne Ashford were the team of South African paddlers to make the trip. Just arrived at uh, Rodness Island. Pleasant little place. It's difficult, it's difficult to soak in all this blue ocean and things So halfway point in race number two, 15 kilometers done, 15 kilometers to go. Wayne Ashford riding a brilliant swell, very experienced ski paddler and a veteran who's holding his own at just about every race he takes part in. In the background, one of the Tahitian paddlers, proving that Wayne is going to have to pull out something special to get himself up at the top half of the leaderboard. Another of the Tahitian paddlers going strongly and once again brilliantly executing a run while in the background Aussie under 9 team star Reese Baker figuring strongly at the later stages of the race. Another of the Tahitian contingent racing strongly trying to look for those elusive runs. Catching runs is crucial at this level of racing. Not only does it save energy but it also makes a huge difference to racing time. You'll also see the paddler wearing a rehydration pack to carry fluids on their back. Over 30 kilometers staying hydrated is crucial. Clint Pretorius of Team South Africa is showing what it takes to ride a wave and save the energy. Clint at this stage well into the top 10 and leading the under 19 race from the Aussie Reese Baker by about 100 meters. Clint also showing that he's got great temperament, proving that in the heated competition he can still have a whole lot of fun. Clint Pretorius racing strongly, the South Africans charging for places in the top 10. Clint trying to catch up to Matthew Bowman in the black and gold ski paddling strongly. Matthew with plenty of skill and stamina and a huge pedigree of surf ski racing at his disposal. Matthew also trying to catch up with David Mocker who's figured very strongly at the race. David now lying in fourth position overall, Matthew roughly sixth at this stage. Matt making sure that he's cool at every stage in the competition. And with the race pace hotting up, David Mocker in the orange ski, currently in fourth, seeing if he can put some pressure onto the front runners. David Mocker, winner of the New Zealand King of the Harbour series last year, a result that certainly announced his arrival on the world surf ski paddling map. Back at the sharp end of the race, 10 kilometers to go as the paddlers head for the mainland and the finish at Hillary Harbour. Herman Chalupski getting a good run as he goes charging ahead of Nathan Bagley in the green vest in the background. Riding these runs is crucial, not only saving an energy but giving you that surge into the front of the race and the tactical advantage. And it's tit for tat, trading the same blow with Herman Chalupski in the green ski now, Dean Gardner. He's riding a run which blasts him back into the lead, albeit briefly. <laughs> These two great paddlers trading blows like heavyweight boxers as they get to within six kilometers of the finish. Herman Chalupski, Nathan Bagley and Dean Gardner going toe to toe. Just behind the front trio, Matthew Bowman now in fifth place, chasing up on David Mocker who's in fourth as the South Africans try and assert their stranglehold over the top five positions. Durban paddler Daryl Bartho, another seasoned ski pro, charging his way into the top 10. On, and as they come to the entrance to Hillary Harbour, it's Nathan Bagley taking a moment on a run to adjust his cap and make sure that he's ready for the final bolt into the line. And in the background, Herman Chalupski rounding the point, having taken that inside line along the surf, realizing that he's got about a 50 meter deficit to make up if he's going to try and take top honors in this crucial race. Out of sight of the crowd that's gathered at Hillary Harbour to see the outcome of this great race, there's just 700 metres in this epic showdown to go. The crowd's heard that it's a three-horse race at the front, but they don't know who they're going to see first as the paddlers enter Hillary Harbour. And as they crane their necks, the first vest in sight is the green vest of Nathan Bagley. He's got just a slim lead over Herman Chalupski of Team South Africa. Nathan Bagley, you'll recall a runner-up in the first race, eager to try and turn the tables on the South African, and he's picked up a handsome lead. 
The line taken by Herman Chalupski to go slightly inshore may have cost him crucial ground in the final stages of this 30km race. And it's Nathan Bagley showing his fantastic sprint speed as he bolts for the finish and the applause that he richly deserves as he gets into the finish line. Herman Chalupski on his inside now, rounding the last turn, but he's going to have to do something really special if he's going to stop this classy sprint star from taking top honours in this race. Victory assured then for Nathan Bagley, he's had a terrific past couple of months. He came back from the Athens Olympic Games with two silver medals and now he's going to add gold in the S1 leg on race two of this men's health series to go to that incredible swag he's got on his trophy cabinet. Richly enjoying the applause as he comes in to receive a hometown ovation. Nathan Bagley, first place, second to Herman Chalupski. Herman Chalupski coming up the beach to take second place at the end of what has been a titanic battle in a race that Herman would openly admit was one of the toughest of his long career.